Hey guys, Steve with Mylon Flyers. Just wanted to um, show you something I'm working on or practicing, um, and how to make that. Well, it's it's actually even really really hard for me to do. So what I've done here is this is handy for some practicing. I've slowed the physics speed down to 25 percent. So this thing's going to be like I'm flying in water, but it's going to help me with what I'm trying to do. Um, I have my own name for this maneuver that I've come up with. I don't know what it's. There might be a real name for it, but um, I call it knife edge or knife edge waves. I guess is what I call it. Um, but this thing's like I got it slowed way down, so it's going to allow me to work on this and do things a lot slower than you would in real time. So this fly is kind of like a scale airplane now. <laughs> Um, so, as you know, a knife edge, there's, what, four different kinds, or at least in, if you're going up and down the, the runway or the flight line. So that's one orientation of a knife edge. And, of course, another one with the top of the airplane facing is going to be this. And all of us are usually naturally really good at doing this one way and not good at doing it other ways, including myself. So this is the other basic knife edge down the runway or down the flight line. Um, see, I'm already messing this up. So that's one of two. Then you have this orientation. Again, if it's going nice and slow, you got all the time in the world to kind of line this up and get it where you want. Come down the runway, a little more throttle, so forth. So then the other variation is this orientation of a knife edge down the road. And I think this is one I have a hard time with. As you can see, I'm struggling. I'm farther away. I'm not nice and straight down the runway. So this is probably the one I need to work on the most. And uh, I can work on it slow speed until I get it really, really good and speed it up a little until we're up to real-time speed. So, But yeah, having to slow down really lets you kind of figure things out. So the, the maneuver I'm trying to learn is called a knife edge wave. So so this here's a knife edge kind of control just down the, the runway line. Of course, you're making some adjustments to keep it, you know, not from going behind you and not from going too far away. So that's probably one of my easier knife edge orientations. And I can't remember. Is this, a, this is probably a pretty easy one, too, for me. But I think that last one was the easiest one. So I'll start my knife edge wave thing I'm talking about with the one I'm best at. So, so the knife edge wave is, rather than just coming straight down, I want to vary my distance from it. So I want to go out, and then kind of come in, come in closer, then go back out, and it requires some crazy coordination, right, to keep it from nosing in or whatever. So that's, that's the basic format right there, is kind of doing a knife edge while you're doing a, a wave uh, coming closer to you and getting farther away. I run into extreme difficulties when I try to do those with these these other knife edges that I'm not as strong with. So you can see I'm all over the place, kind of trying to... <laughs> but, got slowed down, so I got plenty of time to kind of figure out what I'm doing wrong. Like that, and come back around. And I'll, I'll keep it belly in because those are the ones I seem to have the harder time with. So now we're belly in. And I'll try to keep the wave going. I'll exaggerate a little more, too. But you can see those need a lot of work. They're not nice and straight. And and I'm kind of all over the place. I'm not... You know, the goal is to come straight down the runway. And keep it over the runway, but still be able to work that uh, wave pattern back and forth. Kind of like... <laughs> So, going away, coming back in. Eh. I'm telling you, it's fun, though. It's I'm not very good at it, but it's fun to kind of work at this. And So, you know, maybe a year or two years from now, I'll have that down quite a bit better than I have it now. So this orientation, I can manage it a little better. But still isn't perfect. Still needs a lot of work. It gives me something to work on, something to do. This this slow speed's pretty hilarious because it's like 
probably needs to be sped up just a little bit to be kind of like to a scale size bigger plane. But you can do your um, your wheel landings and all that and really kind of see what's going on. <laughs> Slow. Kind of like that. Huh. Look at that. Back in the air. Nice. Not really what I was after, but... This is weird. It's easy when you got lots of time to deal with everything, though. So, you might want to try that on real flight. Slow down the physics and try some of those moves that you, um would like to work on and then speed it up as you go once you get those straight and perfect at slow speed uh, bump it up to full speed of course the opposite side of that spectrum is um, you can do everything at um, high speed <laughs> and what's fun about this is let's say I want to run this at a one one fifty percent yeah I'll bring it all Put it at 150 here. Did it stay? Yeah, it's at 150. So, so now everything's all sped up. What you do is fly this for a couple hours, get kind of used to it, and then put it back to regular speed and everything. Even though you're at 100%, everything everything feels real real slow at at normal speed. So now I'm, everything's sped up, kind of weird. Take care. Have fun. Bye-bye.